Now, Ashley, you can probably agree with me. Working as a pair is a good thing. Three's prompter. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, stick to those lines. But they say working in a team of 10 or more, things can get a little rocky. People start to argue. There's always that one guy who wants to be the leader. Mm -hmm but is horrible at it. We know the type. The whole thing can get pretty frustrating. <laughs> That's true for us humans, but there is a group out there that seems to work better as a squad. To find out more, I talked to Yasmin Tayag from Inverse. How is this at all possible that ants are better <laughs> at government than whole humans are? When you have a big group of people with the same goal, humans have found that the best way to get them to achieve that goal is to divide them into subgroups and to assign each of those subgroups a certain task. And the hope is that all of those tasks put together will help the collective achieve the same goal. We're obviously not very good at staying organized, but ants are. Ants are really good at it, and so as a new study shows, the reason they're so good at it is because even in really small groups, they'll spontaneously divide up the labor necessary to keep the group alive. And so in this new study, the scientists show that even in groups as small as six ants, they will automatically divide up the tasks that need to be done. So six ants, suddenly one of them will start taking out the trash, another will start caring for the eggs, and another will start foraging for food. And this happens spontaneously. And what the scientists found is that even as they add more and more ants to that group, they will just divide themselves into those subgroups and continue carrying out the tasks. Which really is amazing because the overall goal for all of the ants there remains the same. Let's just do whatever it takes to keep the colony alive. And humans, you know, human nations, for example, presumably have the same goals, but we're not very good at <laughs> working together all the time. Can you talk about specifically what the researchers were looking at, what they were, I guess, studying the ants doing? I think what the researchers were trying to study was how they divide themselves into uh, subgroups that carry out various tasks. And what was surprising for them to find was they just do it naturally. And, you know, this, this is interesting because it seems to be an innate quality of the ant that we don't necessarily share. So we can't exactly look at these ants and think we should do exactly what they're doing. And the researchers point out that this is because the major difference between us is that humans have free will and their own personal goals, whereas ants don't seem to have any other goal but to work as a part of this colony. So if you were to take that ant out of the colony and have it live on its own, we don't really know what it would do. It doesn't know what to do. It, it, it lives to be part of this colony. So how do the results of this study of the ants, how does that translate, how can we translate it to animal or human life? What do we need to be doing that the ants are doing? I think while we can't expect humans to divide themselves up naturally in the way that ants do, we can learn a lot from their very strict organization of labor and, you know, hopefully model our societies and our governments in that way. You know, divvy up the tasks, make sure the overarching goal remains the same for everyone and ensure that, like the ants, everyone continually works toward their mini goal so that that feeds into the greater goal. So who would have thought the ants had it all together? Like we needed to get advice from them on how to <laughs> work together. I know. Well, kind of sad, but if you think about it, they do attack our kitchens like it is. Oh, they're, they're a team mentality. They really do know what they're doing, I guess. I know, and it's reminding me, like, I got to go get some bug spray. Some raid out there. I got to get some raid. You got mm -hmm. to attack them. Well, for more information <laughs> or other great stories about science and technology, head on over to Inverse.com.